So you might be trying to figure out how you can connect your iPad, in the iPad 10 in this case, to your specific Magic Keyboard. Now this is going to work in any specific iPad keyboard for the most part. So you just want to make sure your iPad is actually supported with the keyboard that you're buying. So make sure that is the case. In this case, we do have the keyboard folio case. Now I do have an iPad Pro and not the iPad 10, so keep that in mind. I kind of forgot about that. So make sure you're buying the specific iPad keyboard for your specific iPad. But in this case, if it's a two-port keyboard like it is here, you want to first take a look at the specific keyboard, make sure it aligns up with your iPad, it's the same size. And all you want to do is grab the back portion of this specific case and match it up with this specific iPad. It's a magnetic case, so you can see it'll just basically slap into place like this. Now if we take a look at the back, as long as you have the iPad that's corresponding with it, you should be good to go. Now at this point, what you want to do is you want to go ahead and snap off essentially the back portion of your specific iPad. So on the iPad, depending on which one you have, you should have a little three dot option that shows up on the side. So in this case, I don't have it, but you know, on your iPad 10, you want to find the spot that has the three dots. And that is essentially where you're going to be pretty much aligning with your iPad. So in this case, what we can do is we can go ahead and connect our iPad to the bottom portion right here, to the back tray of this specific iPad keyboard right here. So all we wanna do is pretty much just slap it into place and you should be able to see that it should magnet magnetically you know, clasp into place. Now, before we get too deep, you also wanna make sure that on the back, you have this back portion flipped up. So you should be able to see it kind of comes off and you should be able to snap this off. And what you can do here is you can, again, snap this keyboard just like so. And you should be able to see that this keyboard will now be into place and you can use it as you normally would. So that is pretty much the process that will automatically connect as long as it's you know compatible with that specific keyboard. What you can also do is flip the keyboard on the back side like this. So you can have the keyboard basically pretty much along the lines of something like this. And you can also have the keyboard like this and carry it portably without you having to you know snap it in and out of place all the time. So that is pretty much the process. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.